Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 5th of July. Many folks going back to work today after a long holiday weekend. We've got all the classic summer elements in place to talk about today. Sun, heat, humidity, and storms. We'll check out some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, uh, these were captured last night during the fireworks displays across the state. That's the uh, Demopolis Sky Cam. Had a great show over the Tom Bigby. Started at 8.30 last night. That was captured from the Birmingham Sky Cam on top of the Daniel Building during Thunder on the Mountain. And you want to see a nice shot of that. Look at that. Goodness. That is just gorgeous. One of our viewers uh, sent that in to us uh, last night. That is just spectacular. It's hard taking those fireworks images, but boy, he obviously knows how to do it. That's just beautiful. And this morning, that's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam, looking north from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Water vapor satellite shot got a clear weakness in the ridge over us, and that uh, cooler air aloft helped to produce a lot of showers and storms yesterday afternoon, and I uh, expect pretty much a repeat performance today. The most intense heat is west of the state under the core of the heat bubble around the old Red River, except, uh, separating Texas and Oklahoma, where they hit Looks like 103 around Wichita Falls. Uh, around here, uh, parts of North Alabama and East Alabama never saw 90. Elsewhere, mostly low 90s were the case. We'll forecast that again today. Highs mostly between 90 and 93. There's a watch warning map early this morning. A severe thunderstorm watch just expiring over South Dakota at uh, 5 o'clock. In fact, there's where that watch used to be. And, of course, that's on top of the heat ridge up there. Convective outlook today got a standard slight risk of severe weather for parts of the high plains, the upper Midwest. And tomorrow, a slight risk over parts of Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska. And the old C text is over us. That's the uh, 5% probabilities. And again, you know, summer convection, it's kind of hard to define the, the risk area for that because they're scattered in nature and you know, the wet microbursts do happen. That You'll have some storms that knock down trees and power lines, but those type storms are fairly widely spaced. Most of the storms that form just are, are non-severe, but boy, they pack a lot of lightning on a summer afternoon. Here's the QPF chart. Expected rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening at 7. Hey, numbers are coming up. Bullseye is 2.1 inches near Fayette now. You know, how in the world can you draw that? I mean, it might be in Clanton or Cullman or Anniston. You don't know. But uh, again, afternoon convection should be uh, pretty active for the rest of this week. And the tropical Atlantic quiet, although we do note a flare of convection approaching the southeast Bahamas. We'll watch that. You know, at some point, the tropics will come alive. But we check the uh, Sahara air layer. This is the dry air coming off the deserts. And really, it's confined to the uh, far eastern Atlantic. Uh, there's not a lot of whole dry air around here. So again, you can see that uh, convection there that's extending north of Hispaniola. So, so we'll watch things. At, at some point, it'll crank up out there. This is the OZGFS valid at 7 o'clock this evening. And again, there's the weakness in the ridge. The core of the westerlies are up north and down below that. Uh, today should be a whole lot like yesterday. We'll start the day with some sunshine this morning. And then this afternoon, we'll expect scattered to numerous showers and storms that could last into the nighttime hours. And again, highs should be mostly in the lower 90s. We'll say between 90 and 93, where the storms form early enough, some places could stay in the 80s. Uh, same thing tomorrow. And the same thing on Thursday. It's just not going to change a lot as we roll through the week. Uh, there's Friday, very moist air. So, again, look out for more afternoon and evening storms. Saturday starting off the weekend. Seems that the uh, the heights go up a little bit. The air aloft a little warmer. 588 contour up to Chicago. And, again, that would suggest the storms may be thinning out a little bit. Uh, and highs inching up ever so slightly. You know, maybe 94 instead of 91, and, and the same thing on Sunday. But clearly, we'll have scattered storms around this weekend. And a week from today, pretty much the same deal. Typical summer stuff. 
We'll check the end of the forecast on July the 20th. Almost back to school time, if you can believe that. Wow. These summers don't last long anymore. Uh, the 588 contour shows a little dip here across the east, a little weakness in the ridge. And again, that looks just kind of soupy with scattered to maybe numerous showers and storms out there. That is it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.